When we are talking about STEM, I think of that sense of wonder, and there's nothing bigger than early childhood for sense of wonder, right? It's always whys, and hows, and wheres. And child-directed play gets kids into that mode if you give them enough time. And I think that is another thing that we are really good at doing here at Little Learners. They get to be in their own space and figure out things on their own without an uh, adult telling them exactly how to do things. And they are really amazing problem solvers at this age. STEM is not a separate thing. It's not a separate class that students partake in. STEM to us is something that happens across all content areas and in all parts of their learning. Every student every year takes Innovative Arts, an engineering design course, and then they take launch, which is Project Lead the Way, and that actually helps prepare students for similar coursework when they get to the middle of the high school. To us, middle school is a big deal. This is where you learn to explore your interests. That's why we try to put in so many different types of those encore courses that kids take. We expose them to lots of different things. You know, maybe you'll find your thing. Maybe you really like coding. Maybe you didn't know you liked to cook. I don't know, but we start that with getting kids thinking about that career pathway that they might want to choose to do when they get to high school and beyond that. We're trying to prepare kids for jobs that don't even exist yet. So we have to prepare them to be lifelong learners. We have to prepare them to have the confidence to tackle new things. So they can say, hey, I know how to do programming and I worked with robots before and I understand materials and processes and I have confidence to try something new. So then as they get to be upperclassmen here at the high school, they're coming up with solutions to problems. They're making prototypes on the 3D printer. They're bringing them in front of a panel and they're discussing how they got to their ideas and show off their work as they worked one-on-one -on -one with an engineer through the development of that process. And you think that went all the way back to first and second grade when they're learning about materials and processes through middle school and junior high and then into high school.